Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another episode of Pan the Organizer. So today I'm going to show you how to properly clean the wheels of vehicles that are equipped with carbon ceramic brakes, like my Porsche 911 Turbo S. These are the Porsche PCCBs, so uh, as distinguished by these yellow calipers. So these are massive rotors, and again, they're carbon ceramics. So there's a special procedure, and we're going to go through all the tools, equipment, and products that we're going to use. I'm going to leave all of those, by the way, linked in the description under the video for you guys to check them out. So all you have to do is sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. So in a recent tutorial, I showed you how to properly clean and apply a tire dressing on the tires. And of course, a question that often pops up is what do we do to clean wheels on vehicles that have carbon ceramic brakes? Typically, those brakes don't emit a lot of brake dust. That's the entire purpose of their formulation and the way they're done right. Uh, I'm not an engineer or, or auto mechanic. However, I know that these are high performance because on the track, if you're racing your vehicle, well, they uh, tend to be able to dissipate the heat a lot better and they can resist to multiple multiple braking so non-stop braking without fading that's one of the main purposes for race car drivers is to have those performance carbon ceramic brakes but for people who are detailing oriented like me and yourselves we like to drive clean cars i absolutely love these because again they don't produce brake dust so they don't have those iron particles that will embed themselves on the wheels and on the paint and give those rust colored specks right so what you would not do on cars that are uh that have carbon ceramic brakes or carbon discs as some call them is use things like iron removers which some are pH neutral but when sprayed and start to activate they are acidic in nature when the chemical reaction happens you would not use acid-based wheel cleaners and you would not use very high pH or highly alkaline cleaners anything in the uh, pH 11 to 12 range that's maybe a bit too strong so what you're going to want to do is pretty simple first of all we're going to clean the wheels and tires and you're going to see how I do all the tools and equipment that I use. So for the tires themselves, you can use a diluted all-purpose cleaner, uh, something like Koch Chemi or Kosh Chemi. I like that diluted 5 to 1 or 10 to 1 for use on rubber. A lot of people like to use APCs. A more popular option is to use something like the Adams Wheel and Tire Cleaner or this one here, the PNS Brake Buster, which is a combination of a wheel cleaner and a tire cleaner. So I like to use that on rubber to properly degrease the the rubber. Uh, you can also use these on wheels for cars that have carbon ceramics. I've done that on my own Porsche. Uh, my buddy Matt Mormon from Matt Garage has a Porsche 911 GT3 RS. Uh, he also has a, a GT4. Both have carbon ceramic discs. He has carbons on his BMW M3 as well and he uses Brake Buster all the time. We've never seen any issues. Uh, however, this is not needed for regular maintenance. So what are we going to do for regular maintenance? So what we're going to do today, first of all, is start with a pre-treatment. So what I like to do is put a rinseless wash, regardless of what you guys like. It can be a o and R, a diluted 256 to 1, so that's half an ounce for every gallon of water. Uh, the McKees N914 rinseless wash, which I also like, uh, or the Luxury Microfiber Revive. You've probably seen a video on that on my channel if, you, if it's not up yet. Uh, and what I do is I put that mix inside a pump sprayer and of course my favorite one you guys probably all already saw this video the best on the market you guys were right the Marilex pump sprayers so I fully pumped up the system it's ready to go so the rinseless wash what it does it encapsulates uh, dirt and contamination and it's going to help to uh, basically take all of that, emulsify it, encapsulate it, and make sure that you safely remove it before you start rinsing. So I usually do a pre-treat on the entire vehicle. As you can see, it's pretty dirty today. My Porsche has been through winter driving, even though I clean it twice weekly, even during winter months. Uh, a few days of driving outside with the road salts, and this is what it gives. Uh, so we're going to start with the pre-treatment. So you basically pump your pump sprayer up with your uh, mix of your rinseless solution, and you start spraying. So now all of this is starting to dwell on that surface. It's going to pull all that loose dirt and contamination. And after a few seconds, you were going to start by rinsing. So when I'm washing the vehicle, by the way, and you've probably seen this if you saw my how to clean your car like a pro tutorial, I always start by cleaning the wheels and tires first. Why? Because these are the dirtiest parts of the vehicle. So you start with the wheels and tires and then you move on to the paint because you don't want to be washing your paint first and then going to the wheels and tires and potentially splattering all that dirt and debris onto the paint that you just cleaned. So now that the rinseless wash had a bit of time to dwell and encapsulate the dirt, we're going to go ahead and rinse the wheels, the tires, and the fender wells. Go 
All right, so what you're gonna find that the rinsing does is that it frees up the majority of the loose dirt and debris. Now, in a wash bucket, what we're gonna do, I always try to have a grit guard in the bottom, so a bucket filter to keep that dirt trapped in the bottom. And what we're going to use today is a very good quality car shampoo that I mainly love for ceramic coated cars, and it is CarPro Reset. So this one here, you can use in a foam cannon and in your bucket wash. So what we're going to do is pour a little bit of this in our wheel bucket, about an ounce for two gallons of water. There we go. We're gonna stir that up. We're gonna use our pressure washer to generate some suds. There we go. So on carbon ceramic discs, what we're gonna want is you can use just a pH neutral car shampoo. So something that is very soft or maybe a bit more intensive, but nothing too strong on the alkaline or acidic side. So again, CarPro Reset. This is one of my favorite car shampoos. Usually takes first place uh, every year in my car detailing products awards video. What we're gonna do first for the tires themselves, we're gonna use the PNS Brake Buster. So on the sidewalls, we're gonna spray that. So this is gonna help to remove any previous dressing that might be left over to properly prep the tires, remove any browning, any dirt and grime that potentially is on there. Then we're gonna take our tire brush, we're gonna scrub. Once again, I did a tutorial on how to properly uh, clean and dress your tires on my channel, so check that out. If you wanna go more in depth. All right, so we can tell that the foam is white, so on the first pass, it removed the majority of the uh, loose dirt and debris. Now, what we're gonna do next is use an assortment of different brushes to clean the wheels themselves, but before we do so, I'm gonna introduce a foam cannon today. So what I did in here, I have uh, 16 ounces of water and two ounces of the same shampoo, so CarPro Reset, because it can be used in a foam cannon as well. So basically a one to eight ratio. So again, two ounces of the CarPro Reset, 16 ounces of water for a total 18 ounce solution. Put that in a foam cannon. We're gonna change the tips here on my spray gun, gonna attach the foam cannon, make sure it's attached properly. And we're going to spray the wheel face with this. Uh, one thing it does, not only does it start cleaning, however, it, what it does most importantly is add lubrication on the surface, and that's to prevent any scratching or marring of the wheel faces. All right, so now that that's on there, we can go ahead and do the actual wheel cleaning process. Again, nothing harsh is needed. You don't need any iron removers on these or wheel cleaners with iron removing capabilities because there's practically little to no brake dust. That's what I love about carbon ceramics. And you want to be as gentle as possible. The reason why the majority of the car manufacturers uh, in the user's manual, they tell you not to use any uh, harsh chemicals or cleaners on carbon ceramic brakes is because they don't know what the average person will be using at home. So to be on the caution side, well, they advise people not to use harsh chemicals. So always stay on the safe side. So what we're using today is a microfiber Incredi brush. So this is the flat version. So this one here is very soft on the wheels. Uh, we're also using this easy detail brush. This is going to allow me to get behind the calipers on super big giant brakes uh, like on this Porsche. It allows me to get behind those calipers. And we have a uh, microfiber wash mitt for the wheel faces. So we're gonna dunk the brush inside the bucket with our shampoo. And we're going to simply clean the wheel barrels. So you can tell all that dirt and grime and gunk. And thanks to CarPro Reset, we have a bunch of lubrication. So lubrication is key when you're cleaning wheels. When you're done with each brush, by the way, before you put it back in your bucket, quick pro tip, always rinse it. That way you're not reintroducing any of that big dirt and debris inside your bucket. Next up, we have the easy detail brush. This is to get behind the intricate areas that are harder to reach, like behind these massive calipers. The biggest Porsche has ever fitted to a 911, by the way, on this new generation 911 Turbo S. So the braking system is absolutely insane. The G-forces generated 
what I'm breaking with this are absolutely crazy. So once again, let's rinse off the, the brush. You can use that easy detail brush, by the way, for the uh, fender wells. So to get those clean too. And now the microfiber wash mitt for the wheel faces. So as you can tell, no harsh chemicals were needed. Also note that my wheels themselves are ceramic coated. So that really helps with the self cleaning properties, meaning that the dirt has less of a tendency to stick on the wheels. And they're much easier to clean during maintenance washes. And talking about maintenance, I'm gonna be showing you what I like to apply on the wheels when I'm done cleaning them while they're still wet to boost that ceramic protection. Now, if you have lug nuts, what you can do is use a lug nut brush or a soft detail brush. You can do the, uh, the calipers with that as well if you want to get into the more intricate parts. So now that we fully cleaned the wheels and the tires, while they're still wet because we just finished rinsing them, what you can do to boost the protection, or if you don't have any protection, add a bit of ceramic-based protection that will last anywhere from two to three months in real-world conditions. Uh, so these are spray-on, rinse-off silica spray sealants, two of my favorite ones, especially for boosting ceramic protection that's already on wheels, or if you have no protection, once again, to add some protection to make them easier to clean during your maintenance washes. So this one here is Gion Wet Coat. And the other one is CarPro Hydro 2 Light. Why the light version? Because this already comes ready to use, so pre-diluted. So basically all you do is you shake your product well before use, especially with the silica spray on rinse off. So you take your product, spray on the surface. Just a few sprays, get those inner barrels. There you go. And you immediately rinse off with a high uh, pressure pressure washer or a garden hose that has enough pressure. And there you go guys. Now we just boosted the protection that's already on there. And again, if you had no protection, now you get this awesome water beading and quick water sheeting, which makes the wheels, by the way, a lot easier to dry. So especially if you have a car dryer or something like this, the uh, MetroVac Side Blaster, uh, bl a Blaster Sidekick, sorry, this is a... Oops, sorry, I activated that as you can tell. Uh, so it pushes some hot and dried filtered air. So it is very, very quick to dry these uh, wheels and tires. So let me show you a quick demo. Let's dry them out. And there we go, guys. So we have a fully clean uh, wheel. It is amazing. We did that safely with the techniques, procedures, and products that I spoke about here. So all that's left now is to apply my favorite tire dressing. Uh, by the way, I did this all in one shot on a wheel so you can see uh, the accelerated version. But of course, you would first start by cleaning your wheels and tires. Then you would clean the rest of your vehicle, rinse all of that off. And then at the end, while the vehicle is still wet after you rinsed it, that's when you would apply the protection and then you would dry off your wheels and tires when all of that is done, right? So uh, I'll leave all the links to the tools, products and equipment in the description under the video for you guys to check them out. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, the way to show me your support is drop a comment saying that you enjoyed the video in the comment section, smash the thumbs up button to show me your support and make sure that you click the subscribe button that's found under this video. And that way you'll subscribe to my channel and never miss my future videos. So you can continue to learn more about car detailing, all the products, equipment, tips, tricks and techniques. So guys, thanks for being there. Thanks for watching. And in the meantime, don't forget, keep it tight keep it clean and I'll see you on the next one.